Uh, what you call over? Yeah, bro. <coughs> what is it? This music sounds like Exodia around the corner. <laughs> bro. Yeah, uh, they had a, they having a big ass Call of Duty sale, or they did. I think it's over with. But uh, yeah, I bought Vanguard. Um, I bought Modern Warfare 3. I bought Call of Duty 3 because that's the only one that isn't on PC. And I bought, uh, I just wanted, so I bought World War 2 because that was one of my favorite ones. And, um, what's dope about World War 2 is that, uh, World War 2, you can play it on the Steam Deck. Like, yeah, like you can play it on the Steam Deck and, uh, play online and stuff. I think that's super dope. And so I bought that for the Steam Deck. And then uh, you can buy the old classic Call of Duties and they play on the Steam Deck. Like all the ones up until, I think it is up until World War II when they changed like the way the, um, what is it? They changed the way the damn, uh, what is it? The anti-cheat work. Whenever uh, Activision changed all that stuff to the Battle.net shit. Uh, those are the Call of Duty that don't work. So like Modern Warfare Remake 1, Modern Warfare, Re Modern Warfare 2020, Modern Warfare 2022 and 2023. Those uh, don't work on the Steam Deck. And so I That's got uh, Modern Warfare 3 on uh, PS5. So that's what I'm gonna play with my brothers and them. But also, like, I don't know, I've been itching to play like World War II shit again. And uh, I bought, I bought a, uh, a Series X controller for my, uh, I bought a, uh, what is it? This damn the elite controller. I bought an elite controller for my Series X because uh, I don't know, the regular Xbox controller just feels like a fucking toy when I play it because <coughs> I'm so used to the PS5 controller. And so uh, I've been getting and I bought Starfield and fucking uh, I bought Starfield and I bought uh, the sequel to. Star Wars, because I played the first one on uh, 1X, so I bought, what you call it, on Series X. What is it? Survivor, Jedi Survivor. And I bought Star Wars, Starfield. And then um, I've been back playing Halo Infinite or whatever. But you know, oh, and I bought this game, Scars Above. It seemed interesting. It was like $10. Anyway, uh, you can only play so much Halo, though, until you get tired. So I wanted to, like... To have a Call of Duty game just to get on when I'm on my Xbox to fuck around with. And so I bought Vanguard on my Xbox to play on it. And uh, cause I'm gonna do all my main shit on PlayStation or whatever. Right, the PS5 controller is still the best so far. Bruh, it's the best controller ever, bruh. Like, I don't even know why they made a pro controller because, I mean, a premium controller because it's pointless because the PS5 regular controller is. It's just like a, it's just like the Xbox Elite controller. Like that's how much that's how good it feels in the hands. Whatever you just can't change the joystick knobs. And I'm pretty sure people that use the Elite controller don't even change the knobs and stuff. Like it's cool to have the paddles in it sometimes. Like it's cool to have the paddles, but even still, like I don't know people who really use it unless like you're playing racing games. And like I play Forza. And on fours, I don't, I don't use the paddles no more. Like I'm not that much of a dweeb. I don't care for all that shit no more. But I just love the way it feels with the grips and stuff. And like this is the only controller that feels like, like the weight and the help is the closest to the PS5 controller. So and it was on sale, so I was like, fuck it. They were like ninety, and you know, a regular fucking Xbox controller is seventy dollars, and. Why would I spend seventy dollars for the regular Xbox controller and it feels like plastic when the PS5 regular controller is the same fucking price and it feels so fucking premium? So I went ahead and got this one. 
and been back on my Xbox because of it. Because, like, holding the fucking controller. Like, I feel like I'm holding a controller now. Like, it feels so good to play again. And, like, um, like you know, on the PS5 controller, they have, like, the haptic feedback in the controller, in the, in the triggers and stuff. And now I'm so used to that that, like, I have to have that. So, like, on the Elite controller, like, when I, like, the Elite controller has the vibration and stuff in it. Like the PS5 controller, so uh, hell, I've been fucking with my Xbox again. And then all my friends are on PlayStation, so now when I play on Xbox, I don't get constant messages to fucking play Destiny and shit. So it's kind of like me ducking off in the internet. But uh, <coughs> yeah, I bought <coughs> Vanguard because it was like a World War II game. Like I get tired of all the futuristic stuff sometimes. That's what I was telling my girl earlier, like. It's like besides Destiny, because Destiny does its own thing. Like Destiny still has like you can have like magic guns, and then you can have like you know modern warfare type guns and World War Two type guns. Like Destiny kind of does its own thing. But after that, like when games try to use the futuristic setting, they don't really do it right. It's really weird. Like how I don't know. They all feel generic now, and so what? Uh, well, World War Two. Even though like people say Vanguard sucks, I don't think it sucks so far. I'm fucking with it. Uh, it's just nice. It's just nice to have like to go, you know, have that modern type of uh, World War Two type setting in a modern like on your new console and shit. And I didn't, and I didn't play it when it came out. So all the problems it had when it came out, I wasn't a part of that. I had stopped playing Call of Duty for a while. I'm just not getting back into Call of Duty because of my little brother. So. I don't care about none of the damn problems it had. And on top of that, uh, all the fucking skins and stuff was there. So I just bought me a bunch of skins on uh, Vanguard. And I bought a bunch of skins on Model Friend 3. I ain't even played the story yet. What did you say? By the way, did Halo Infinite add the flood in or something? Because I noticed. Yes, uh, they, play, they added the fucking, they added Firefight. They added a bunch of shit, bro. Like, Halo is jumping. Like, if you're trying to get back on that. Let me know. That's why I uh that's why I so I, I had when I first played Infinite multiplayer was free to play, but I had Game Pass back then when it first came out. And so since I don't got Game Pass no more, I fucking uh just bought Halo Infinite so I have it. No excuses. But all the shit they done added, they done fix it, bro. Like it's it feels so good to play. But it's just like it's something about Halo now that like I cannot sit there. Like, I can take a day and play it, but I can't sit there for, like, weeks on end. So that's what I meant, like, like you know, I got Call of Duty now. Like, so when I want to get on my um Xbox, I'll play Halo and then, like, go from Halo to Call of Duty or something. And then play Star Wars as I go through. What do you say? Oh, shoot, I might have to jump back in. Bruh, it's so, bro. I was, like, watching one of my Halo YouTubers, and they saying they was just praising how good Halo is right now. And I was like, bro, like, I, I want to play Halo. Like, I've been itching. So, what I did, I bought the Master Chief Collection. I had it on my regular Xbox, but I don't know, like, the old school Halos, I want to play a Mary 9. And, but I bought it on my Steam Deck, and they play on the Steam Deck. So, like, I've been playing, like, the classic Halos on my Steam Deck, bro. And it's so fun. Like, New Year's, New Year's uh, Eve. Um, me and my girl, we went to her friend's house, and I just sat on the couch to play Halo, bro. Like, it was, like, so refreshing sitting there, like, playing all those classic Halo games on my Steam Deck, bro. And so, like, I could take my Steam Deck now and play classic Halo and play Call of Duty War II, and that is, like, crazy to even think of. Like, we live in a, I live in the future to where, like, all that is on a handheld device, bro. It's so, it's so peaceful. So, I deleted Master Chief Collection off my damn uh series x and just put in bang and downloaded vanguard with it so oh and i bought forza 5 for my steam deck which is crazy to even say so i got forza 4 on my xbox and i got forza 5 on my steam deck and bro the forza looks so dope on the steam deck it's crazy how powerful the steam deck really is like when you really think about the games it can play like folks can sit there and say they want the rog ally and all these other handheld devices I went and bought the 64 gig Steam Deck, and I, like, love that bitch. The only thing I may get is, like, the OLED Steam Deck. And even still, like, I, I'm not in a rush to get it. 
the fact that you can play those on a Steam Deck is fire. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I've been like, so like, um, here recently, like, when I get to my desk, like, I just, like, I, I don't know, I, I like, sitting in this chair. Now, I don't know if it's, like, getting getting an age or something, but, like, when I sit here, I just want to, like, I feel like I have to stream or just be productive. So now, when I've been playing games, it's been on my Steam Deck. Like, I even got um, Chalky working on my Steam Deck so I can stream my PS5 to my Steam Deck. So I've been uh, finishing up Final Fantasy 16 on my Steam Deck through the Chalky, the Chalky app. And so I've been streaming the games that... Uh, single player games to my Steam Deck, or oh, I've been playing Destiny on my Steam Deck too, through the PS5 on my Steam Deck. Like the Steam Deck is fucking crazy. Like the more they innovate, the more time goes. Like the more people get their hands on it, the more apps they keep adding to it. It's crazy. But I just been slowly rebuying like classic games or games that like that um what they say like games prior to like 2015 and below that don't have that use like this the old um cheat software like it's like the anti cheat software i don't know you if you play pc games you know what i'm talking about like when you get on your pc it has the anti cheat thing like that thing works on linux based systems so like elden ring um demons the uh, not demons layer dark souls all that stuff uh that anti cheat works on a steam deck so like i've been playing elden ring <coughs> Modern War, uh, Call of Duty World War Two. I even bought um, Call of Duty. I'm finna buy Call of Duty, War, uh, Call of Duty Two on Steam Deck and Call of Duty One. Like somebody, I don't know. Ray, was you in the chat when the dude was telling me I need to just play all the Call of Duty? So like, I'm trying to like see what Call of Duties I got and which ones I don't got, and go through the list. Like I've been like slowly like um, seeing all the ones I got and I'm gonna play through all the story and like I don't know. I'm thinking about doing them. Um, a retrospective from a different eye because a lot of people hate um hate on call of duty and i get it but like um like people hate on world war Two, but war two came out um i think i peeped that yeah uh war war two came out of a time where battle royale was blown up call of duty war war two was the last call of duty before the war zone epidemic and so like fortnite came out the same year war war two so like war war two launched really bad because of the servers and stuff because it was sledgehammer's um first call of duty game that they worked on and so you know that just comes with that just comes with it but i enjoy world war ii when it came out and i went into the battle royale stuff i still don't like warzone to this day so i don't look at it as it sucked it just it's just a call of duty game that had bad servers when it launched but people don't whole people don't look at all that stuff like that so um i do i do kind of want to do a retrospective but it's like i feel like it's been overly done so much especially in the youtube space so i'm just enjoying playing the story and stuff but the classic call of duties all work on steam deck like call of duty one call of duty two call of duty three never had a pc port that's why i bought it on xbox because all the call of duties are backwards compatible with xbox so I, I got modern warfare i need call of duty 4 modern warfare 1 and i need i got modern warfare 2 on um xbox oh i think i got modern warfare the remaster i don't know i gotta check and see if it's on my playstation i'm pretty sure it's on my playstation but if i got that on playstation the remaster that's one i don't have to buy but uh, anyway, Steam having a fucking huge sale. And so I just got like all the Yakuza's. Let me go look at what I just got, bro. Like, I got all the Yakuza's for $30. Like, all the Yakuza Zero, all the way up to like a dragon for $30, bro. It's crazy, like, how cheap those games are. And so now all I need to get is the, what is it? Like a dragon series in Judgment. And so, like, it's like, like a dragon. Uh, I forgot the, the ones that just came out, but uh, I just got all the Resident Evils, all the Yakuza's. Oh, I just bought Red Dead Redemption 2, it works on Steam Deck, so I'm, I'm I never beat it. 
never even got to play it because uh, somebody spoiled me uh, at the ending. And but now since it works on the Steam Deck, like bro, just having the luxury of playing a game on your couch or laying in the bed with your girl playing a game, bro, I don't understand. Like, I don't think you understand true tranquility until you do that. Like, I'm like it's a weird feeling. Like it's and it's part partly because we're in the future to where like bro, like we live in a day and age where we can play triple a games in a handheld on a couch or wherever laying next to your bitch chilling you know what i'm saying what do you say you know you know what's why i actually prefer halo 5's warzone more than the uh br format battle royale format no bro halo 5's warzone it's so slept on, but nobody plays it no more, bro. Nobody plays it. Like I downloaded it, just so. Um, I downloaded a bunch of games. Like all my, you know, I went through my catalog of my Xbox games to see what got crossed over to Series X games or whatever. And I went on there, and it just, it's bro. Nobody plays it. That's why I bought a lot of those games on the Steam Deck because the PC community. They keep a lot of games alive that people don't know about, like um, World War II. Like, I played World War II on the PS4, and so when I downloaded it on my PS5, bro, it took forever to find a game. But I, I played World War II on my Steam Deck, find a match instantly, bro. Like, it's crazy how PC, the PC landscape keep games alive, and... I wish I could get Halo 5 on PC, like through Steam, not um, not through the that Microsoft, uh, what you call it? You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you can get Halo Wars one on Steam, but you can't get Halo Wars two. And I have the Halo Wars one and two on the Xbox, the Xbox PC store, but I ain't got no Steam version. Was it? Was well, out of Modern Warfare Remaster or Vanguard? where they first brought in warzone no uh they brought in warzone what came out the call of duty world war two because War warzone came out in 2018 warzone one or or 2020 yeah it came out in 2018 because it dropped with uh I don't know. It may came out in 2019. No, no, no. It came out. Warzone 1 came out with Modern Warfare 1. I'm I'm sure. Modern Warfare, the first remaster, the first remake. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the one that was on, the last one that was on um, PS4 before the uh, PS5 era. Or was it Cold War? No, Cold War came out in 2020. And Cold War was the first one on PS5, cause that's the that's the Call of Duty I bought, cause like they went back to black, they went back to the Cold War era, and like, like how I've been hyping up World War Two, like I loved Black Ops One because it was in the Cold War era, so I remember that one, and that was the only uh, game on PS5, like the only multiplayer game that was a PS already PS5 made, like that's the Destiny PS5 version didn't come out to, um. Uh, I want to say a month later. I remember playing Call of Duty the day the day I got my PS5. Let's see. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, hold on. Let me look it up. It's whatever came out there. It's whatever came out the uh World War Two because because uh Fortnite came out in 2017. That's how I remember. Let's see. 2011 Modern Warfare 3. 2012 Black Ops 2. 13 Ghost. 14 Vance. 15 Black Ops 3. 16 Infinite Warfare. Another Infinite Warfare was another one that was slept on. It was pretty good. 17 World War 2. It was 2018. Black Ops 4. Because, uh, it was blackout. That was it was called blackout for it was like the call of the uh blackouts four had the that was the first one that didn't have no 
um, it didn't have no story mode. And it came with Blackout. And that was the first one with the Battle Royale. And um, that was the first Battle Royale. But you had to have Black Ops. And then they made Warzone as a separate thing. Because 2019 is Modern Warfare. Yep. Modern, yeah, so it was Blackout was the first. Uh, it was the first Battle Royale. So it came out a year later. But Warzone itself came out of 2019 alongside of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remake. And then Warzone got its, uh, it was beta. Uh, it, it it dropped with uh, Modern Warfare, but it officially came out for all consoles in 2020. Like, remember they had that weird beta period? Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember now. Yeah. Because uh, everybody hated, uh, didn't nobody like Black Ops uh Four, but they loved the battle royale. But you had to buy Black Ops. Uh, you had to buy Black Ops Four to even play it, and that was their selling point. That's why they sold it. Like, did nobody like the multiplayer Black Ops? But they stripped all that away in the battle royale. But uh, yeah, and then when um, Modern Warfare came out, they had that period where it was just modern warfare and then they released the warzone beta if you bought modern warfare and that was the only way you could play warzone and then um they released the warzone download for free uh that following march instead of and that was the first time they did uh that's 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 when they stopped doing the um DLCs and that, that was the game they stopped doing the DLC packs, like the uh, the map packs and shit, because Warzone was like the big thing they was working on. And that's when they started connecting the games where you would go to the Call of Duty and they had that hub and it'd be like Warzone, Modern Warfare. Like that's when that was it. That's when it started there. And so now like the the damn Call of Duty games, you can have whatever installed and it reads it like it'd be like Warzone, Modern Warfare two model for three black ops all the shit and just launch it all like they're trying to be a uh what they call it they're trying to be a um i forgot what it's called they're not they're not like single entities no more it's trying to be a whole like hub of like call of duty like call of duty is trying to just be uh like a whole entity itself. Yeah, they're trying to sell Warzone's ass out. Yeah, bro. But what's dope now about Call of Duty that I do like is that, like, your skins, like, say you bought a skin in Modern Warfare 2, it crosses over to Modern Warfare 3. And so, if I would have bought War, if I would have bought Vanguard on PS5, all my skins from Cold War would have crossed over to Vanguard, which is dope. I just hate that, like, now, so because I'm playing on Xbox right now, I can't link my Xbox account to my Activision account no more. No more. You can only have uh, one, like, profile link to your Activision. So, like, all my stuff that I got on PlayStation, that's why I, like, say, like, Vanguard, I'm going to buy Vanguard for the Series X, and that's the only one I'm going to play because there's no point in, like, having two accounts. Because, like, everything that I did on, like, my PlayStation, like, if I get on Modern Warfare 3 right now, all my Modern Warfare 2 guns are there. And then if I get on Black Ops, like, or if I get on Warzone, like, my guns from Black Ops and stuff is still there, which is cool. Like, I use my skins in my, um, I don't think, I don't think my Black Ops skins will work. I think it's, like, for, like, whatever game, like, the games prior to each other, so, like, Black Ops and Vanguard, those games intertwine with each other. So, Modern Warfare 2 and 3, they intertwine with each other. I think it's like that. I don't know. I haven't really looked at it much. But I just know, like, when I was on uh, Modern Warfare 3 earlier, my Modern Warfare 2 guns was there. COD is treating it like Halo Master Chief Collection. That was a full game hub. They should have just connected Infinite with that. The layout was flawless, and it helps connect the multiplayer experience for all games. That's what I'm saying. Like, if not, at least make it to where, like, my, the Master Chief Collection has put Halo 5 in it. Like, I don't really think 
Infinite should be in it. I think Infinite should be its own thing right now because they separated the multiplayer as a free-to-play entity. So the online for Halo is going to be straight forever going forward. I think Halo is going to do what Call of Duty did, like how Warzone is a free-to-play thing, and then the story stuff is going to be the one that you pay to get. So with Halo, Infinite is the multiplayer from here on out. So if they drop Halo 6, we just buy the story mode stuff. So our online character is just going to be the season stuff. Like how Call of Duty is, instead of, but what's dope about Halo though, instead of like resetting your stuff every time a new game come out, you can just like keep unlocking like new armor sets and stuff and do the battle pass and rank up that way i think that's the smarter way but what sucks now is that when you get on the master chief collection on xbox it's so hard to find the game but i get on the master chief collection on the p on my steam deck through p like because it's pc servers i find shit instantly they need to intertwine that cross play stuff they need to get cross play straight facts that's what it should be that's what i'm saying yeah like if they if the cross play is gonna save those games games like the master chief collection because i don't think they're gonna drop like updates and stuff like all the season stuff seasonal stuff that they have been dropping for a master chief collection i think that's over with and they're finna start like honing in on infinite because they finally got infinite in a good place that's just what i can tell because um after the last like uh after the last update, it was, they said it's going to be the last update for Master Chief Collection, which sucks because it's just in a high place. I think now if they're going to do that, I think Master Chief Collection should just be the hub for like past games. So like say, um, like my, like Halo Five, like now that Halo Five has died down, it's died basically, incorporated into the Master Chief Collection on Xbox and PC, make it crossplay, then boom, you got all your stuff back there thing they have yet to get the master chief collection crossplay together yet they need to hurry up that online community was strong that's what i'm saying bro like that's why i bought it on pc like my homeboy he said um he bought the master chief collection on pc and it's crossplay between um xbox pc cons like the xbox pc server and steam pc server so say you bought the master chief collection on your series x but you got a gaming pc if you sell some games on your Series X, you automatically have the PC copy. So, what my friend did, he just downloaded the Master Chief Collection on his PC and told his homeboy to buy it. And so, the other homeboys, they just bought it on Steam. And because Steam has it on sale for like $10, the whole Master Chief Collection, which is crazy to even think about. And they've been cross playing together. And so. And then what's dope about the Steam game, the Steam version, you log into your Xbox account. So for me, when I, I logged in my Xbox account and my gamer, like when I'm online, I, I'm on my Xbox account. What is it? Ad break ends and fuck. Ad is it over? Okay. Break. Dang. Dang. Yeah. yeah. So like, um, so like when I get on my Steam Deck, I log into the Master Chief Collection. I log into my Xbox account on the Master Chief Collection. And so, uh, all my all my achievements on my Xbox unlocked on Steam automatically, which is dope as hell. And so, all of my uh, unlocks that I I thought that I had to re-unlock everything. No, all my unlocks I played through on my Master Chief Collection, all my shit from multiplayer unlocked. I just gotta replay all the stories and stuff, which I don't give a fuck. Give me another a, a new reason to play through the story. So I think it's dope as fuck that they did that. And I think more games need to do that, like Cyberpunk and The Witcher. Um, you can play on any console, and it cross-saves your data. Like, I had a Switch copy, and my Switch cop, my Switch date, my Switch, uh, I had the PS4 version, the, the Switch version, and now I got the Steam version. And I was able to transfer my save from PS5, I mean PS4 to Switch, from Switch to PS5, from PS5 to my P, to my Steam Deck. And the same for Cyberpunk, my PS4, uh, my PS4 file to my Steam Deck. And so, if more games did that or made it to where, like, if a game is on PlayStation, you just log into your PlayStation account and your save data can come, that'd be fire. Like, I feel like that'd be a dope way to 
if they want people to keep double dipping in games, do that. Cause when I went, when I seen that, like, bro, I bought when I bought Forza, same thing. Like that shit is crazy. Even though I didn't play Forza Five on my Xbox, but it's just dope that like my account is there now. So like all my Forza stuff from Forza Four that can come to Forza Five is on Forza Five, and that shit is insane. That like they they're doing that now, and with uh Vanguard, uh. With with uh with your Activision account though, like on my all my stuff from like I told you earlier, like all my gun stuff is like crossover. I think Halo, I think Halo needs to put Halo Five in the Master Chief Collection to save it, cause there's a lot of people that love Halo Five, and like you said, Halo Five's Warzone was so dope, and Halo Five's firefight was epic as fuck. Like people sleep on that, like the big team firefight that they had in Halo Five was so dope, bro. Richard, watch our backs. No back. You take the lead. Let's find that crate and get out of here. Ice cream here! 